All right, guys, so today we're going to be converting the Auglaise BMW interior into something a little bit nicer. I think we're going to do red, probably. You can see this is pretty hideous. This beige interior. Nobody likes it. Maybe some people do, but most people don't. It just looks really bad. So I think anything except this would look so much better. So we'll do... We'll start with the screen there. This is the small iDrive screen. And I got the Apple CarPlay 12 inch screen. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I got the new unit right here. Great brand, Yee-Hoo. Ye Everyone knows Yee-Hoo. Just kidding. Looks like it's straight out of China. Certification. It passed the certification. Instructions there on how to do it. Which is actually, kind of good because I don't know how to. This thing looks pretty sweet, and also comes with a bunch of harnesses. And I also ordered a camera that's going to go on the back. That's the main reason I'm doing this because. I kind of need a backup camera. I got too used to having it and it's just annoying at night and stuff and I want to tint this thing. So I just figured let's do a backup camera. Get with the times. Okay, so here's the head unit. So this is the 10 inch version. Honestly, it looks like the nicer iDrive version. It's maybe a little bit bigger. And there should be touchscreen too. So I'm excited to put that in. Okay, so we gotta gently take this out. Pretty easy. So it comes with a tool, which is pretty sweet. To change it, it works. So let's unbolt those two screws, or four. Okay, then there's two more down here. So I'm just gonna use this pry tool to carefully get it off. Okay, this thing just had one connector. Obviously, you probably don't want to do this like I do, where I just <clears throat> rip everything off. Or maybe you do. I don't know, but this is my own car, so I don't really care if I break anything. Um, so I just kind of send it. So there's two more screws in here. Just take this thing off, and then we should be good. There's two more up there to take the screen out. Okay, I got a better tool because that thing kind of sucked. If you don't have anything, I guess it's pretty sweet, but it's pretty annoying. T20. So we gotta unplug all this stuff too. There's like four connectors. So there's this thing. With the tab in the middle. Which hopefully I don't break. I would recommend for this getting a flathead screwdriver. Because it's kind of hard to get off. Okay, so I pressed it down in there. And then same with that little middle section with the screwdriver. And it pulled out. These guys, I'm just pulling them back a little bit. 
and then I think you press it and pull out. So you press on that a little bit more and it pulls out. And then this one I gotta figure out, but I'm guessing it's one of those where it like slides and then locks. So I'll show you when I find out. Basically I just put the screwdriver in here and then what, like that, and it unlocks the whole thing. And then there's one more, so there's five actually. Pull that back, press it down, and pull, and it's out. Okay, I just added a light because I know this is really dark. Um, okay, so this is the new harness that it comes with, with all this stuff. It has connectors for like, camera should be here, sub output, probably somewhere. 360, a fuse box and some other connectors. So I'm gonna plug this in right here. Oh, I just realized I probably didn't need to pull out all the antennas. Okay, so this locks in like that and then back on. And then this should plug in to the old radio. You gotta make sure it's open first. So it's kind of hard here. So just open it and then put it in. And then close it back up. Yeah, it's good. Now I can connect. I'm just gonna wait a sec actually until I do all this. But most likely I'll just have to connect the other stuff back. I'm not really sure where this goes, but I think we'll figure it out. So now I'm just going to take the screen out, which is these two bolts. And then this is going to come up to the top. And there's one connector, which is this guy. All right, and that's the ugly little screen. And on the nice big one, which can't even fit in the video. Much better. <clears throat> There's also this adapter that came with it. There's two packages. One says F30, and then the other was for F20, which I'm not sure what that is. Maybe one or two series. these cables so this one's for usb which i'm not sure if i need but i'll just plug it in and run it um, just in case so that later i don't have to okay so i just realized i uh probably gotta plug the ux in right here which i just forgot about so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do that later i'm just gonna run this wire back through here so that you can access it to the bottom. And again, I don't know if you need this, but I figure it's good to wire it so that I don't have to take this all apart again. Okay, and then I think the last thing should be this one. So I'm going to kind of move the screen and get this wire through here. This wire is pretty thick so you kind of want to go on the side. It's kind of inconvenient how this all gonna be like right here but whatever plug this in try not to break the connectors okay and then uh should be able to pull it back down I'm 
gonna actually take a sec to clean back here because I know that's gonna be impossible to get in. That's gonna be hard to get to where you can see it. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, cool, that looks really nice compared to how it used to be. So now let's start buttoning things up. I guess it's kind of nice because I want to add my camera later. I don't have it yet. So all I have to take off later is this. So I guess it's not too bad. Okay. So this wire, I'm gonna run uh, all the way through here and all the way down to the center console that goes kind of under your elbow, the armrest. Because the factory Bluetooth on these cars kind of sucks. Um, and I want to use CarPlay and all that. So I think that's the way to do it. And then you just go into settings, your factory settings, turn on AUX, and it plays to there. And you connect to this guy through Bluetooth or through CarPlay. Okay, all these, I'm just going to kind of tuck over there and hopefully they don't rattle but they probably will so I'll try to come back here and fix that okay then we're going to start plugging everything back in back here so there's three antennas and the factory connector for the factory screen. Okay, I'm not really sure what that is, but I guess we'll figure it out if something doesn't work. But we'll do a test run real quick before putting it completely together. See if this thing works. Yep, we got the Yi Hong. That way everyone knows that we got the Yi Hong. And then this wire is for the air conditioner and all that stuff. All right, awesome. Um, so to get it to the factory screen, you'll see you got to press audio. So I'm going to press it. And it shows all this. Kind of interesting because it's like a hybrid between, um, like that's, not original or that yeah that's not original but that kind of looks like it um so i'm gonna switch it to aux and then maybe put like half i don't know how to do that all right we'll just leave that so we'll just use aux and then to get it back to the android auto that whole thing just press this guys this is so nice it feels i mean i don't know how it, it looks on video but it feels very like luxury, it doesn't feel like fake and Chinese and all that stuff. It feels really nice. A lot of settings I'm gonna play with. And um, I got the Linux version because I saw that reviews recommended that. So I'll update you guys on how I like it. So for now I'm gonna try to connect my phone. And I'll show you guys what, what's up. So I had everything connected, but I had no sound. And I just read that I have to connect ground A and ground B. So these two connectors, ground A, ground B, got to connect them into each other. Okay, guys, so I had everything plugged in and set up, and it wasn't working. The, the CarPlay connected, but the audio wasn't working. So this green cable is probably the answer. So... Um, I had to take it out of the original because I never, I realized I never put it back into the original uh, radio unit because we need to use the audio from this. It's kind of confusing. The audio goes from here to there and then from here to the speakers. So this connection still needs to be plugged into the original um, radio because that's what takes the audio to the amp. So we got to just take this out. Had to undo this clip a little bit, and now I can plug this back in to the adapter. 
and I got to plug this green one directly into our old ra uh, original radio. Okay, so here's how it looks now. The green is in our original harness, or our new harness, so the end of it, and this is going to go into the original radio. So I just had the most annoying issue. Um, the phone, when I would connect to CarPlay, I would have the... First off, it took forever to connect to the CarPlay. Um, and then when I got that to work, it, it would play through the little phone speaker, not through the car. So I'll just kind of go through all the settings and everything and show you guys how I have everything set up. So I have this plugged in, the ground thing, the ground A and ground B connected to each other. Audio out has the AUX cable that goes all the way through here. It's kind of routed through, but all it goes to is into my glove box. Excuse the mess. Just bought the car. Um, I'm going to route it through a little better since so it's all hidden, obviously, through all here. But I'm just testing for now. Um, this green wire has to go into the back of the original unit. So you got to take it out of the original harness and then plug everything back in and put it into the original radio. So this is how everything looks. Otherwise, it's all original connections with the new harness. Um, and then in the settings of the actual radio or unit, whatever. Um, let's see what I did. Smartphone list. I didn't change anything here. Audio. Nothing there. Car settings. Um, here, I just left it on what it was. The Harman unit, which is, I think that's like the base model. Hi-Fi. Um, and then there was one more thing that was screwing me up. The main thing that was screwing me up was the Bluetooth setting. Wherever it is. Okay, this. Use cars BT channel. So, I was having issues with the, because of that wire. So, I thought maybe I have to activate that, but then I activated it and left it on and I had issues. Um, so basically keep that off. Don't connect to the, don't connect to uh, here. You don't need to use that Bluetooth. Use the Bluetooth over here. And, well, actually no, I think that's how you set it up. So BT music and then uh, you connect to the Bluetooth there. Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on too on your phone. Mine's not connected with any wire right now. So it's fully wireless CarPlay. And then uh, you should have CarPlay work. Set it up on your phone. And then uh, see now it works. So using this. So we're all good. Now all I have to figure out is the steering wheel control. Because I actually I think I just figured it out. <laughs> all right, so we're good. I think we're fully set up so we could button things up and we have CarPlay. There's also a Beamer Link, but it's kind of gay because you got to pay another $10 to use it. So yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully that helped. I'm just going to button all this up, run that wire, but I don't think you need to see that. Um, and then later I'll add the rear camera maybe go make a video on that should be pretty simple it's just probably one of these and then like a positive 12 volt 